small update on the Amiga 500 enhanced chipset machine and the Amiga 500 digital video the RB, <laughs> RGB to HDMI adapter so I have bought this ribbon cable or flat cable with a male mini HDMI plug in one end and a female standard size HDMI plug. Um, I've used a tiny bit of epoxy glue, uh, these two component glues, and I have cut a small hole on the case right there. It's not perfect. I need to straighten that out with a file. But anyway, it fits. And this way I have added a HDMI port on my Mega 500. Um yeah. I think it's it's a neat job. Uh, people might ask, oh, why kill a case? Why cut into it? Um, someone on a forum, uh, he replied that there are so many Amiga 500s in museums. And it's a shame not to see these uh, old computers being used uh, the way they were intended. You see, I've already cut out some holes for um, switches, and right down there, I've installed a VGA uh, port. So, yeah, why not install something else, uh, something more? At least it's on the back, so I, I won't really what's it called I won't really notice anything uh, aesthetically uh, different when I use the Amiga and touch the Amiga the drive still a floppy drive I've not cut into the um, case so it's basically the it's just, it's just a future proof, or future proving the Amiga 500. Yeah, perhaps this will give people out there some kind of, ah, well, what's it called idea. Perhaps. Well, I'm gonna sign off.